Hi guys, this is part two of my last video because I don't know how to resume recording. Um, I paused it. I tried to go read the quote to get the exact quote. And then when I came back on, there was no way to continue recording on that same video, at least not to my knowledge so far. So this is part two, but the quote, I will sum it up for you, um, was, I wear a mask. The quote is, I wear a mask. It's not a mask to hide who I am, but it's a mask t that I wear to create what I am. Something along those lines. So the exact quote, you know, I might, what I'll do is post the exact quote of what I saw in the message in the description of both of these videos when I go on to edit. Um, so you'll understand what I'm kind of referring to, but the one thing I can try to explain to you is this. When I fall off track, when I have fallen off track, I feel like I've let people down. I feel like I've not only let myself down, and it's not about what people think, it's about this inner feeling that I feel. So I feel that I've not only let myself down, I've let my family down, I've let my friends down, I've let anyone that supports me down. And I feel like I want to hide and I want to just be in, literally invisible, work on myself and then come back when I feel better. It's just not rea the reality of, of how um, things go. Um, so I do have to get up every day and I do have to get out, go to do the things that I need to do in my day to day life my work routine, my fitness routine, my uh, nutrition routine in order to get to what I am trying to create for myself. But that inner voice and that inner uh, person who feels like a failure, regardless of the progress that I've made, wants to hide and wants to cut communication off from my dearest friends, honestly, from the close, the people that I'm closest to, from people that mean so much to me, that supported me, that have known me in every weight that you can think of under the sun and have still loved me in my ups and downs, in my, um, in my setbacks, in my failures, in my progress cheered me on regardless and that is what is so um upsetting right now to me is because I cannot get past myself in this moment it sounds like I'm being selfish right um that I can't see anyone past myself but that's not what it is for me for me cue the waterworks but for me it's about the feeling of being embarrassed and being and, and just feeling very, very um, defeated by myself and ashamed, ashamed to, to even see people that I love, people that, that support me. So... I will, in these moments, like, avoid seeing my friends, seeing my best friends, uh, talk, you know, talking to people, posting pictures of myself. Um, I will avoid events at all costs. I will, uh, I will miss many opportunities. I will cut communication off uh, from people that I had constant communication with just months ago people that have such a special place in my heart and honestly it's not about anyone else at that moment I just cannot bring myself to face that person to, and to see this look of concern in their eyes and this look of worry and feeling the need to explain myself or 
you know, defend myself about how I failed. So, just sometimes you just, I need to disconnect from everyone and be as invisible as I can be in order to just regain who I am and that's where I am and I feel so guilty I feel so guilty for disconnecting from people and cutting off communication but I love everyone that supports me honestly I love my friends I love my family I love the people that are that reach out to me on my social media on my comments I love those people I love the support I love the motivation the care you know even if it's a stranger just reaching out to leave a nice comment these are things that make my day and seeing people that I love and, and my friends and family, these things add value to my life and make me happy. But I cannot certain times allow any of that in my life. And I try to steer as far away from communication and contact as I can because... I feel so, so bad about myself. And th that's where I am. I'm on track right now. I'm on track. I'm doing everything in my routine that I need to do. <laughs> and I still feel this way. And, but I'm hopeful that at some point, I can get back to not feeling like a failure. It doesn't make sense to someone who, who isn't going through what I'm going through, maybe. But it makes sense to me that I try to hide and stay away from the people that I know are behind me 100% and they're genuine, they love me and I just can't deal with it. I cannot even deal with what they would think by seeing me because the person that I see in the mirror, when I even look in a mirror, disgusts me, to be honest. The reflection is not the reflection that I want to see. And it might sound counterproductive, but it's not. I just acknowledge that I hate who I see right now looking back at me in the mirror. <laughs> in the mirror. But I'm working on getting to the point where I think that I look that my reflection looks fine again so anyway I'm sorry for crying in this video um, I just it just came out but I hope you could even understand what I was saying my message is Despite what you're feeling on the inside, even if it comes out in tears on the outside, and you can't hide those tears, and you feel horrible, still show up, get up, do what you have to do for yourself, make those changes, take those steps every single day, even if you feel like a failure today when you do the things that you need to do for yourself those negative feelings will be replaced with positive ones they will be replaced with positive ones and 
that's my hope and prayer for anyone going through anything that you can in your moment of darkness and sadness you can see the light at the end of the tunnel because there is a light at the end of the tunnel so anyway that's it for these videos um and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bye